Yeah, this is the broadcast center here from the IEC General Meeting 2016 in Frankfurt. Welcome again to a further interview. Um, in this interview, we are talking about uh, the topic of energy efficiency. A new energy efficiency roadmap has just been published, I guess, yesterday. And uh, of course, I'm not alone here in this interview to uh, discuss this topic. With me is Frank Steinmüller. Hello, Frank. Welcome. Yeah. Hello, Kurt. Nice to meet you. Um, you are a standardization manager at the DKE, and you are an expert mm -hmm. on the in this field. Yes, I try to do my very best. And <laughs> <laughs> okay, so coming to the to the roadmap, how has this project developed? How has it started? Yeah, this project started last year, uh, somewhere in September, and we were very very busy at the uh, at the whole time. Within uh, only one year, uh, we managed uh, to develop a roadmap on a subject which, which is uh, quite uh, uh, enormous, which covers nearly everything, uh, which is not uh, a product, which is not a system. It's, it's just a, uh, a way a, a system, a product acts. And I have learned that you <coughs> have made the roadmap not by the, let me say, the standard way of doing it. You have used other tools and you have uh, connected to your community mm. in other ways. Uh, could you please comment on yeah. that? Yes, we uh, added some uh, other tools. Uh, that means uh, we developed that uh, roadmap on the internet. Mm. It's the first uh, roadmap ever developed in on the, the internet. Uh, we had a blog at a most used tool uh, and we used the blog to uh, add some articles, uh, to collect some articles on the subject and then to comprise uh, the articles collected finally to the roadmap mm. as it is now. Uh, and how did you get uh, experts involved to that project? Uh, we made a round call and a call for experts uh, over the whole uh, DKE community. That okay. means all uh, the electrotician standardization experts were addressed. And furthermore, we addressed also via Twitter, via Xing and mm. LinkedIn um, experts and people not, not being experts mm. uh, outside of the standardization community who might be addressed, uh, uh, interested in the subject to also take part in our work. Mm. And w what would you say, what are your experiences with this new way of making standards, or not, not a standard, mm. I'm sorry, uh, yeah. the roadmap of course? It's quite new, as you told. It's so new that m most people are a little afraid to go on with a, a modern tool, with a, a tool they are not familiar with. Uh, but in the end, uh, there was uh, uh, more participation than expected. Okay. And I'm very glad we did uh. it that way. Okay. Yeah, fine. So, c but coming to the con content of the roadmap, uh, roadmap, it's about mm -hmm. uh, energy efficiency. So, what is the the problem with it? I mean, it's uh, not really a mm -hmm. new topic, to be honest. It's absolutely no new topic. Uh, energy efficiency has been discussed over years, uh, over centuries. Uh, I think uh, from the beginning of mankind, there was a discussion of energy efficiency, how to make fire, uh, how to use uh, scarce wood. And uh, in the meantime, everybody talks about it and there are plenty uh, of standards already existent on that subject. Mm. So what's the roadmap about? It's a good kind of guide or something yeah. through the diverse standard mm. jungle or so? Yeah. Or what, what is the y impact of yes the study? Yes, it is. Uh, on one hand side, uh, it's, it's clearly uh, just a collection of the standards already available on the subject energy efficiency. And that's really a lot of standards in the electrical sec uh, sector. And on the other hand, uh, it describes uh, the situation as it is uh, energy transition, uh, thousands of rules uh, uh, are developed at political level. And that is uh, the situation we have to cover mm. in future. Okay, so um, we uh, there is a lot of uh, things are going on in the field of renewable energy. How does this connect to the roadmap? Yeah. Uh, the renewable energies will uh, change our uh, power supply system. Uh, at the moment, we expect uh, the power at the plug, uh, at the socket, uh, is always available. Uh, but if you think about renewables, there is a slightly difference. Uh, 
power is only available when the sun shines or when the wind blows, and there are some times where this is not the case, and you have to cope with that. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, but I guess, mm -hmm. I mean, the, the customer or the, uh, the user of electrical energy, of course, he wants uh, uh, energy to any time and anywhere. So uh, how yeah. do you deal with this? Yes, that, that's an interesting topic. Uh, the demand of energy has uh, to be uh, at the same time uh, as the supply is available, or otherwise uh, the supply has to be available as the demand is existing. Mm -hmm. And that's a situation uh, I think the utilities have to cover in future. Also the customers have to think about it, and I think uh, that makes uh, energy efficiency were very interesting. You, uh, in future, uh, you uh, do not only see energy efficiency as the efficiency of a product, uh, or washing machine, or what else. You also have to see the energy efficiency in a system, mm -hmm. in a system of supply and demand. What is the energy efficiency in this case? Mm -hmm. How do we evaluate energy efficiency? in future. Mm -hmm. Okay, another topic which is uh, stressed, stressed very much here during the uh, general meeting and in particular during the reinvention lab is uh, digitalization. So that means mm -hmm. smart technologies. How does yeah. that influence the energy efficiency yeah. question? Uh, as you said, as is covered uh, in the meeting and uh, digitalization, smart uh, appliances uh, are coming. They are rushing in. Uh, many uh, Appliances already have communication facilities and uh, they also use sensors and that will increase in time. Uh, they will also uh, get more and more intelligent. There will be artificial intelligence coming into the systems, into the products, and that makes uh, the whole uh, uh, thing more and more complicated and more and more interesting. Mm -hmm. So, given this, I mean, just as a uh, short conclusion or so, what would you see, or how do you see the future of uh, energy efficiency? Will it become more efficient? I guess so. Uh, the efficiency will uh, increase, uh, of course, uh, will increase over time. Uh, all the things, the smart... Uh, um smart technology, uh, yeah, or the, smart the, the digital the uh, energy mm, The smart technology production. also will, will make the product more efficient, uh, there are more possibilities to, uh, to be efficient mm. than it is uh, today. Okay. And that will be used on one hand, or on the other hand, uh, all kind of smartness also needs some kind of energy. Mm. Okay, thank you, Frank. So, uh, you're welcome. We see, we have learned energy efficiency is still a very exciting topic. Uh, a lot of things uh, have uh, still to be done. And we see that uh, digitalization, smart technologies, uh, renewable technologies all influence uh, this uh, exciting topic. So thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. IEC General Meeting 2016. Connecting Communities. Reinvent Standardization.